Michigan's most powerful elected Republican finally weighing in this week on the decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. Grant Herms reports there's one thing Senate Minority Leader, Majority Leader Mike Shirky is willing to trade to try to keep abortion out of the state's constitution. Senate Majority Leader Mike Shirky making his most stark comments about the future of abortion in Michigan since the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, vowing to fight a measure that would enshrine abortion access in the state constitution. And there's nothing on the ballot more important than what this item is. I would trade the governor's race in a heartbeat right now if we could make sure that we can uh, defeat this a constitutional amendment. Shirky made the comments during a pre-recorded video for the group Protect Life Michigan during a webcast called Stop Abortion Extremism. In response to the majority leader, the Whitmer campaign saying in a statement, quote, Governor Whitmer is fighting like hell to protect the right to choose in Michigan because she believes these decisions should remain between women, their families, and their doctors. Adding, the contrast could not be clearer between her and the five hopefuls running for the GOP nomination. Shirky's comments come at a crucial time in the race to be the Republican nominee. The Republican primary is just 16 days away and the race is tight, with Ryan Kelly, Kevin Rinke and Tudor Dixon in the top three spots. Voters in the latest Local 4 poll showing 86 percent, saying the candidate's position on Roe v. Wade would be important when they made their decision at the ballot box. All five candidates have said they support upholding the state's ban. And in court, the state legislature has already set aside taxpayer dollars for a legal fund to uphold the state's abortion ban and in a court filing last week saying the ban should stay in place because abortion was quote not medically necessary as those fights play out in the courtroom and likely at the ballot box shirky making one thing clear the fight is just begun now, the signatures for that ballot measure are still being counted and inspected, but just given the sheer number of them, more than 750,000 of them, it's more than likely it'll end up on the ballot in November. Also, more than likely, there will be challenges coming this summer, so many months to go before the election. Grant Herms, Local 4.